Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing part one of my four part Halloween makeup tutorials for you. And I'm starting off with this creepy, easy vampire makeup look. So first of all, I'm starting by taking my Mehron Clown White Light Face Paint and I'm applying it to the high points of the face using a flat Kabuki brush. This is to brighten up those areas and to start to create definition and dimension in the face. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette and using the darkest, coolest contour shade in the palette, I'm applying it to the contour parts of the face. This again is starting to create definition and depth and dimension to the face. Basically, we're just starting to really hollow out the face and give a really drawn in, deathly appearance to the skin. Next, taking a clear brow gel, I'm just going to run this through the brows, just really holding those brow hairs down, pushing them upwards and outwards to give a really full thick brow effect. Then whilst that dries, I'm just going to put that face paint that we used at the beginning all the way down the neck, just to make sure that the whole neck area looks white as well as the face, just to make everything look like one. Next, we're going to start to depthen the contours of the face a little bit further. So I'm taking the Balm Meat Matte Nude Palette and I'm using the shade Matte Hung, which is like a dark kind of grey aubergine colour, perfect for creating kind of depth and contour and shadow to the skin. So I'm basically applying that on top of that cream contour just to really darken it up a little bit further, make it look a lot more hollowed, really creating depth in the contours of the face. So I'm using a Smashbox contour brush to do this and just taking little, little bits at a time, blending it into the skin, taking a little bit more, building it up until I'm happy with the intensity. For the nose area, I'm taking it on a Morphe M504 blender brush, which is a really small eyeshadow blending brush, just so I can precisely define and contour the nose area. Also with this colour, we're going to start to hollow out some smaller parts of the face. So we're taking it all around to the sides of the nostril and down the nasolabial fold just to really create some hollow and some sallowness in the skin.
and then on a really small pencil brush I'm going to start to create frown lines in the forehead so I'm creating vertical frown lines so I'm getting my client to scrunch up his face so I can see where he would naturally frown So I'm applying the, the eyeshadow with the pencil brush and then once I've got it in I'm just blending it out with the Morphe brush just to make it look soft and more like a shadow and less like a line. I'm also creating horizontal frown lines above the vertical ones just to make the forehead look really angry. Next I'm taking my Zoeva Smoky palette and I'm taking the shade Real Light which is just a matte jet black and I'm going to start to depthen those frown lines a little bit further so just on a really tiny eyeliner brush I'm just pressing the black right in the middle and the base of those frown lines just to make them look a little bit darker and a little bit stronger. And then we're going to use the same eyeshadow on a larger pencil brush to darken the eyebrows. So just running that all the way through the eyebrows, it's making them look really thick and dark and heavy. And then continuing on with this eyeshadow a little bit further, we're going to start to depthen and darken the contours of the face even more. So we're building up the contours, so starting lightly and then going darker and darker and darker until we get a really dark, hollowed out face. So just going over all those contoured areas again, applying the colour and blending it all the way into the contours until we get a really dark, hollowed out face. So always applying a little bit at a time, especially when you're using black, apply a little bit blend it, apply, blend, apply, blend, so then we don't get too much too quickly and it starts to get muddy. Now I'm also taking this colour through the ears, we want the ears to look part of the face so whatever we've done to the face we have to do to the ears so just applying that into the depths of the ear just creating some dimension. And then also applying it to the chin so right in the chin dent to make that look deeper. And then also vertically down the sides of the chin below the corners of the lip just to make the chin look more defined and more hollowed. Now I advise using your client's bone structure so where they have hollows accentuate those hollows just to make it look a little bit more natural. Now onto the eyes so again using that Zoeva palette I'm taking the shade Smoky Wishes which is a deep purple aubergine and I'm washing that all over the mobile lids inner corner to outer corner and blending it up towards the eyebrow we want a little bit of a gap underneath the eyebrow we don't want the dark to go all the way up but like I said all over the mobile lid outer corner inner corner and just blending a nice wash all over. I'm also taking that shade on the outer corner and the inner corner of the lower lash line. So just blending it on the outer corner, inner corner, taking it down almost through the hollow of the eye socket just to create some shadow.
Next, I'm taking a red lip liner and just melting it onto the back of my hand. I'm applying it to the lower inner part of the lash line. So right on the inner center of the lash line, we're just applying it into the lash bed and then just blending it down slightly just to give the eyes a really red, raw look. Make them look bloodshot and sore and very vampirish. Then going back in with that Zoeva palette, picking up Dust and Memories, which is a nice kind of soft pink. We're just blending the edges of that lip liner just to make it look nice and soft. Then I'm taking this really dark purple shade by Gosh Cosmetics and I'm depthing in out the inner hollow of the eye socket. So all the way through the inner corners of the eyes, just blending it down through the socket to give a really hollowed look to the eyes. Purple is the perfect color for this because that's what you tend to have when you look really tired and really sick. Then going back with that matte black shade, I'm gonna darken the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye just a little bit further. So just applying it and blending it on the outer corner and the inner corner to make them look really, really dark. Now onto lips, I'm taking a red lipstick and with a lipstick brush, I'm applying it right to the inner part of the lip. So just applying it right on the center of the lip and then just blending it out slightly with my fingertips to give a really red kind of raw look to the lips. We want the lips to look all bloody and red rather than them wearing lipstick. And then going back in with that matte hung shade from the Balm palette, I'm just applying that to the outer corners of the lips to give them a really dark shadowed effect. And I'm also running it along the edges of the top and bottom lip, just to make them look a little bit more dark and hollowed and shady and a little bit sick. Next, I want to use a blood tooth enamel to make the teeth look all bloody. So first of all, we need to dry the teeth with a tissue to make sure there's no saliva on them. And then I'm using the Miron Tooth FX Blood Red lacquer. So I'm just basically painting it on the tips of the front teeth to make it look like uh, my client has been biting into human flesh. So just painting it on roughly, nothing too precise to make them look all bloody. And then I burst a blood capsule into a cup and then just using an angled brush, I just applied it to the outer corners of the lips to make them look nice and bloody. And then I gave a whole capsule to my client and got him to bite on it and he chewed on it a little bit and then let it run out of his mouth to make it look like his mouth was bleeding. It was pretty disgusting but it gave a really cool kind of running blood effect to the mouth. So this is just a really good um, step to do to make it look a little bit more gory. And this is the finished look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I have three more Halloween looks coming out this month. So definitely subscribe if you want to see them. But like I said, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.